the world of Nago Bank in the Belize district. A faraway place, obscure from the everyday hurly-burly of Belize City, but as you can see, quite a lot is happening. And that activity also includes an impressive irrigation system which provides water and nutrients for a variety of produce including onions, watermelons, tomatoes and plantains. For this predominantly Spanish-speaking community, the road upgrade means a lot. Ruben Alexander Pineda, the chairman of Los Pequeños Agricultores y Ganaderos de Nago Bank Cooperative Society Limited, explained. Esto es algo muy interesante de que ya tiempo lo estábamos esperando que con una nueva calle y este centro de acopio que se llevó a cabo hace cuatro años atrás, estamos muy contentos porque con este camino que va a llegar hasta acá, tratar de mejorar los los que son las frutas, los vegetales, para que puedan llegar en un mejor estado a Belice, a Belmopan, San Pedro, Orinjuac y a nivel mundial Belice. Although the community does not yet have electricity, they utilize gas-operated generators, but they seem to make it work so seamlessly. Area Representative Marconi Leal Sr. says that this community plays an important part of feeding the Belize district. It speaks well that at least we, you know, we're getting some road work done and it's not just the basic, just grading, it's, it's a fixing of a, of a road that was very, very terrible and I, you know, I have always felt bad for, for the farmers back here, but now that they're getting a better road, man, it's, it will be more encouraging for them as, as the farmers that are supplying the fruits and vegetables to our district, Belize district. The Ministry of Agriculture has welcomed this opportunity for the people of the small Belize rural north community. CEO Servi Labaisa added that this supports the ministry's agenda to ensure food security. This particular area um, has become very productive to the food basket of the entire country. Um, Nago Bank, you know, they produce um, a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, um, and it's geared mainly for the Belize district, and, so, and, and a lot of it goes to the, to the tourism sector. So for us, it's very important. It's, a bit, it's been a long wait for this project, especially the road, which is one of, which is one of their priorities, because, you know, to get in their, to get in their inputs, um, into this area was very difficult for them um, to access their farms. You know, it was such a it was, it was so hard. Now with the road, that makes it easier. And when they're producing, when they were producing, the last time we were, they had, I think, tons of tomatoes, and they couldn't get it out. Nobody could come in and get it, and get it out. And so it's a huge loss for the farmers. So the access of the road is very important, not only for them to get in their their inputs, but also to get their products to market. But it was not an easy road to get here. CEO in the Ministry of Economic Development, Dr. Osmond Martinez, discussed the efforts to get this partnership with the GCF back on track after almost losing it. We had to had the ability and the capacity to negotiate with uh, EFAD and GCF uh, in terms of um, convincing them that we were ready. Um, secondly, was our our ability to to put a strong team um, within the program. And thirdly, um, our ability to coordinate. If you see, it's not only the Ministry of Economic Development that is here, but we also managed to work along with the Ministry of Infrastructure Development and the Ministry of Agriculture. So without their, um, without their support, we won't have been here today. CEO Martinez added that there are other agricultural communities that will also get similar assistance to help them grow. The road is coming. And so is work on a packaging center for the Nago Bank community. And while there is no word on the electricity just yet, the road is certainly a welcome start. For Love News, I'm Dale McDougall.